bronchoprovocation testing may be dangerous. The patient with baseline airway obstruction may develop life-threatening, worsening bronchospasm with bronchoprovocation testing. There are a number of absolute contraindications to performing bronchoprovocation testing in any form. One, when airway obstruction is present at baseline, especially if the FEV1 is less than 50% predicted. Two, a recent myocardial infarction or cerebrovascular accident that is within the last three months. And three, poorly controlled hypertension. Relative contraindications to bronchoprovocation testing include, one, reduced FEV1, but not less than 50% predicted, two, pregnancy, three, lactation, and four, use of a cholinesterase inhibitor. Of course, even when all contraindications have been avoided, there are some caveats to keep in mind. Of particular note, a recent upper respiratory tract infection may cause airway hyperreactivity for up to six weeks in otherwise normal individuals. Additionally, influenza vaccination in asthmatics may produce increased airway reactivity for up to eight weeks following immunization. Bronchodilators, including caffeine, need to be avoided for at least six hours prior to testing. Inhalation of cold air, hyperventilation, and exercise also need to be avoided for at least six hours prior to testing in order to prevent induction of the previously described refractory period or development of a late response to the airway stimulus. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.